Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Oh, battery light is on. Mmm, batteries. Y'all know I do have a little PayPal um, donation button up top. I always need a couple dollars for batteries. I do want to invest in rechargeable batteries, so I need to do that. <laughs> I'm just funny, but like seriously, some people are like, you know, how can I, um, what do they say, what's the word, contribute or, you know, support you in a different way, and I do have the PayPal button, it's been there for a long time, I have a lot of instructors who ask that question when they ask me, can I get them a CD of the talk or a presentation or something like that, which um, I haven't really sat down or taken time or even have the inkling to do. So what I do say when people say that to me is I do have a PayPal button and you know whatever you'd like to give will be perfectly fine. I don't I, it's there because people used to ask and every once in a while people still do ask because I don't think they see the PayPal button up top, but it's a little donation um, button where you can um, you know support the channel if you'd like to do it that way. Um, I'm going to, what was it? Yesterday I had a couple comments about the veins looking good but then not feeling good and someone was like they didn't know that but that is a, that is like bevel up. That is like one of those things that as a phlebotomist or in phlebotomy you must know. So first of all bevel up, second of all Please don't go by sight, always go by touch. Just give your veins a minute and you'll see veins like this pop up in the arm and the patients will tell you, you know, there's a lot of scar tissue there or whatever and um, you can even feel them around, feel the vein around the scar tissue and if you don't know, you don't know. When you know, you know, but when you don't know if you're just starting out, you know, don't be too eager to just say, oh, I got this, you know, I know what I'm doing, this guy, this woman, whatever, honey, I feel your vein. Listen, listen, listen to your patient. So just for the sake of going over the touch and sight thing again, when these veins pop up like so, like mine just naturally pop up, like they're always there. So when you get them, that look like this once you put the tourniquet on some people look and they get their things together because they just know that they're going to get that vein don't don't do don't do that touch the vein before you get your supplies together you may get a straight needle together and you may need a butterfly or vice versa so take your time and assess your patients first that's key a lot of people don't take the time to assess especially when they feel like it's going to be a difficult stick they just put the tourniquet on and they just go for it. So in instances like this also, to go over touch and not sight, veins this big, a lot of people want to jump in and stick the vein like right here, right where it's at its biggest, right where it's at its plumpest. But what you want to do is anchor that vein because it will move. If you don't hold your veins, they roll. That's why I say veins don't roll. Because if you hold them and anchor them, they're not gonna roll. So in instances like this, you wanna anchor the vein and you wanna start low. Remember I talked about that? People were like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you said that. So I'm going over it again just to reiterate that technique. Anchor and then stick below its fullest point and go up into the vein. Yeah. Yeah, I know you guys needed to hear that again. So I just wanted to go over that and say that again because it was brought up in the comment section. So since my battery light is flashing and I've really, as long as I've had this camera, I don't know how long it lasts before it actually cuts off. So I'm gonna go, I think I have a few minutes, but a few minutes, I don't know like how many, like I need to know if I have 10, 15 minutes. So anyway, I'm gonna go. Thumbs up the video if you like it. Let me know what you wanna see next. I'll try to be back this afternoon. I'm going to start saying try because lots of times I'm like, I'll be back and I don't come back. And I know that's kind of like, she said she'd be back. So it's Tuesday. I'm also going to try to go live this evening. Leave some comments down below so that I'll know what we can talk about tonight when we go live. I just hate coming up and have nothing, you know, to talk about. So comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next as a video and let me know what we can talk about this evening so we can get back on our live stream schedule. So do that and I'll see you. I'll see y'all later. Let me know what you think about the video. Thumbs, share, like, all that good stuff. And thanks to all my new subscribers and, uh, yeah, and my diehards. I'll see y'all later.